Our topic will be all about fundamental integration formulas. So there are several for, uh, fundamental integration formulas which is separated by three parts in our discussion. The first one is about the, the basic constant integration and the power formula. So the first one is we have the integral of the differential of u that is equal to u plus c. The second one is the constant a times the differential of u that is equal to a times u plus c. And then the third one is the power integration, the power formula for integration that is u raised to the power of n times the differential of our u that is equal to u raised to n plus 1 all over n plus 1 plus c. The second part will be discussed on our next video and the third part which is all about the trigonometric integration formulas will be discussed on the next video. So for example, we have to integrate the integral 3 dx. So first we can we can move our constant 3 outside of our integral sign. So that is 3 times the integral of the differential of x. So that is 3x plus c. We must not forget plus c. That is the constant of integration. The second one, integrate x cubed dx. So using the power formula, that is x raised to 3 plus 1 all over 3 plus 1 plus c. So that is equal to x raised to 4 over 4 plus c. The third one is the integral of the quantity x over 4 minus 2x squared over 3 times dx. So first, we can, uh, we can distribute the integral sign and the dx to our two terms inside our quantity. So that is integral of x over 4 dx minus integral of 2x squared over 3 dx separating our constant under our integral sign and transfer it outside of our integral sign that is one fourth integral of x dx minus two thirds integral of x squared dx so using the power formula we have to add one to the exponent of our excess so this will become x squared over two and this will become x cubed over three and then simplifying, that is x squared over 8 minus 2 times x cubed over 9 plus c. That is our answer. And another answer is if you can combine it using least common denominator or LCD, that is also accepted. The fourth one, that is the integral of the quantity 5x raised to 4 minus 4x cubed minus x raised to negative 2 times dx and then again we can distribute the integral sign and our dx to our three terms inside our parentheses so that is integral of 5x raised to 4 dx minus integral of 4x cubed dx minus x raised to negative 2 integral of x raised to negative 2 dx and then transferring outside the constant from the inside of our integral sign, so that is 5 integral of x raised to 4 dx minus 4 integral of x cubed dx minus integral of x raised to negative 2 dx. And then using the power formula, x raised to 4 will become x raised to 5 all over 5. x cubed will become x raised to 4 over 4, and then x raised to negative 2 will become x raised to negative 1 over negative 1. And then simplifying, we can cancel 5 here and 4. So that is x to the 5th power minus x to the 4th power plus 1 over x plus c. This is our answer. The integral of x squared minus 3 squared times x dx. And in order for us to use the power rule, the derivative here must be the derivative of our quantity. Okay, so the derivative of 
x squared minus 3 is equal to 2x dx. And so, we have, we only have x dx. So, so dadagdagan natin yan ng 2, but dadagdag din tayo sa labas ng ating integral ng 1 half. So, that is 1 half times the integral of the quantity x squared minus 3 squared times 2x dx. So, we can use the power rule since we have since we already have the differential of this quantity being raised to the exponent or to the power 2. So using the power rule, that is the quantity of x squared minus 3 cubed over 3 and then plus c. And then multiplying 2 and 3 to our denominator. So that is x squared minus 3 cubed over 6 plus c. The next one, we can also use the power rule on our trigonometric functions. So, the integral of sine cube y times cosine y dy. And so, since cosine y dy is the differential already of sine y, so we can use directly the power formula. So, that is sine raised to 4y over 4 plus c. Our seventh example, that is the integral of the quantity 2 cosine of 4 delta minus 1 raised to the power of 1 half times sine 4 delta times the derivative of delta. And so, if we are going to look at our quantity in order to, con in order to conclude if the power rule is applicable, and so, if we are going to differentiate 2 cosine of 4 delta, the result of that will be negative 2 sine 4 delta times 4 derivative of delta. And so, our integral is lacking negative 2 and 4 as a factor. And so, we have to balance our integral with negative 1 half and 1 fourth outside of our integral sine. And then simplifying that, that will be negative 1 8 times the integral of the quantity 2 cosine of 4 delta minus 1 raised to 1 half times negative 8 sine 4 delta times derivative of delta. Because negative 2 times 4 as the constant here is negative 8. Then integrating our quantity here, we are going to add 1 on our exponent that is the quantity will be raised to the exponent of 3 halves all over 3 halves. And simplifying, our answer will be negative quantity of 2 cosine 4 delta minus 1 raised to the exponent of 3 halves all over 12 plus c. Our eighth example is the integral of second cube x times tangent of x dx all over 1 plus second cube x squared. And then transposing our denominator to our numerator but taking the negative exponent of 2 and then differentiating the quantity 1 plus second cube x that should be 3 second cube x times tangent of x dx. So we need 3 as our factor here and then we are going to balance our integral by using one third outside of our integral sign. We are ready to use the power rule. So that will be one third times the quantity of 1 plus second cube x raised to negative 1 all over negative 1 or that is negative 1 over 3 times quantity of 1 plus second cube x plus c. And then that is it for our first part of the fundamental integration formulas for your questions, comment on our discussion section in Schoology.